this tournament, they're capable of making mistakes even at this very, very high level. So, Ludmilla Ayova, now here's somebody who really could produce something for them. She's uh, taking part in the individual finals on the beam over the weekend, but here going for the team this time. A spectacular gymnast. What beautiful work. And there are some gymnasts who train to be good on this piece of apparatus, and there are others who have a natural ability to balance. And uh, Iona, really a beautifully poised gymnast on beam, feels every inaccuracy and can adjust it. Solid as a rock on that half-twisting flick flack. Oh, yes. Super E element. That's a flick flack with the half turn finishing with a second half turn. Flexibility and strength in range. Well, here's something demonstrating what we were talking about. Uh, a good deal shorter, this girl and Corkina and uh, looks a lot more comfortable on the beam. But she has got a superb balance skill. Absolutely superb. And that was Ludmilla Ayova, 19-year-old Russian. And I think we'll see a lot of her in the future. Just look at the difference in size. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful performance. That beam, by the way, uh, not made of wood nowadays. Let's just watch this, Richard. This uh, opening combination is so spectacularly executed. First of all, the flexibility in the needle stand. And then if we get the opportunity, there the Arabian Tinska to walk over, and then the aerial walk over, and then a front somersault with a quarter turn. Brilliant. Superb balance all the way through. That wasn't quite achieved, and I've got a feeling that she repeats it because it wasn't achieved the way she wanted it to be achieved. But that was spectacular, and the second part of that move. the Arabian flick with the second half turned down to hips. Dismount. Two and a half twist. Probably the... Uh, the least spectacular of all of her skills, the dismount. Love the throwback of the head like that, though. Great performer, 9.45.